like what you see? That's exactly what the U.S. Army wants. Taxpayer money has built a multi-million dollar project called the Army Experience Center in Philadelphia. It's meant to give ordinary people a taste of the excitement of being in the military. Rows and rows of computers let visitors play combat simulator games. All of this for free. Nowhere else can you sit in a life-size replica of an Apache or Black Hawk helicopter. And as you fight the virtual enemy, you can feel the recoil of the weapon and the hot air swirling around. If you've ever wanted to drive a Humvee through the middle of combat, you can try one of the simulation rides at the $13 million Army Experience Center. But this makes one ask, how does it compare to the real deal? I remember thinking that it was just one more step in the Army's policy of recruitment, which has basically been to portray the military like a video game or like a music video. It shows these experiences like shooting a gun at a screen and divorces it of its moral context. In reality, when you shoot a rifle at somebody, there's going to be a dead person on the other side. Aiden Delgado served a year in Iraq during the height of insurgency. He's now become an avid anti-war activist. The Army is going to do a great job telling your kids everything that's great about the military. In fact, most of our culture is designed to tell you what's great about the military. What they'll never have you talk to is someone who didn't have a good experience in the Army. I don't advocate people not join the military. I think the military has a right to recruit. But I think they have a duty to recruit honestly. There is no sign at the Experience Center that says join here. Instead, you can talk to people like Mario. He served in combat on three tours and is here to create a friendly and relaxed environment. It gives the opportunity to learn about the Army without feeling pressured and without feeling uh, stress and that anxiety of learning about something new uh, without being, you know, attacked or, you know, feeling that anxiety about recruiters. But the results are clear. Many people like what they see and become recruits. Everybody was just so welcoming and then they just started talking about the army and the benefits and I just I was sold immediately. The U.S. military is currently stretched between two wars. While Obama just sent 17,000 more troops to Afghanistan, generals had asked for 30. Recruits are needed. This is also a time of rising unemployment as the economy spins out of control. The financial benefits of joining the military become all the more tempting. A fancy touchscreen lists average salaries and benefits depending on positions and years served. But what isn't listed is that the potential consequences of combat might keep you from reaping those rewards. Alona Minkowski, RT, Philadelphia.